What I want to talk about today is how to stay positive in the face of adversity. A lot of people are going through hard times. So many people can't even afford three square meals. So it was laid in my heart to just come and talk about this and maybe one or two persons would find value in what I want to talk about. First of all, what is adversity? Adversity is a state of hardship, difficulty or misfortune that one deals with in life and now as human beings some of us have faced adversity some of us are facing adversity presently and some of us are still going to face adversity there are different forms of adversities there is financial adversity there is emotional adversity um, there is um, I think this sickness adversity we have different types of adversity but then the general ones seem to be financial adversity or should I say the most common common one seems to be financial adversity so I just want to talk to us on how we can stay positive in the face of any form of adversity. So the first way on how to stay positive in adversity in a difficult situation is to look for a positive in that negative situation. Now this may sound cliche but I believe that whatever that happens to us or whatever it is that we are going through look for a positive in that situation and focus on it as long as it's not a matter of death that means there is still something positive that you can hold on to while you navigate that period so look for something positive to focus on and hold on to it it's going to do you a whole lot of good it's going to help you weather the storm the second and point i want to talk about is don't immerse yourself in negativity don't immerse yourself in negative thinking. Do not immerse yourself in negative thoughts and then do not wallow in self-pity. Now, when you are facing challenging situations, it's so easy for us to start wallowing in self-pity. It's so easy for us to start saying, oh, why me? Why is this thing happening just to only me? That is self-pity. And once you indulge in that, trust me, you, you are going to sink very deep. Do not wallow in self-pity. Do not start questioning yourself. Do not start feeling, oh, that you, you always experience misfortune, that is only you that is unfortunate. No, people go through stuff. A lot of people go through stuff. I don't think there's any human being on earth that does not go through an unfortunate incident. I don't think so. So do not wallow in self-pity. Do not feel this is just peculiar to you or you are just unfortunate in life. Because remember, thoughts are things and we should control our thoughts. So when you are facing that challenge, when you are in that challenging situation, when you are facing adversity, Try as much as you can not to immerse yourself in negativity or in negative thoughts. Try as much as you can not to indulge in that because it's not going to help you in any way. The third point is surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with warriors and not warriors. <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense. Surround yourself with warriors and not warriors. Now, what does this mean? When you surround yourself with warriors and you're in a negative situation, your situation may get worse because you're surrounded with people that will tell you negative things. You are surrounded with people that, that are not going to bring any form of positivity to that situation. Instead, they will keep highlighting the negative things that may happen or that can happen. They become warriors. They even become more worried than you are. Rather, surround yourself with positive-minded individuals. Surround yourself with warriors, people that will tell you that, see, you're going to come out from this. This is not going to be the end of you. This situation is not going to swallow you. This situation is not going to become you. You are more than this situation. You're going to rise out of this situation. You're going to conquer it surround yourself with positive people because trust me that is what you need you do not need people that will come and fill you up with more negativity you do not need people that will come and start crying more than the bereaved you do not need to surround yourself with people that would worry 
more than you that you are in this more than you that is in the situation no you don't need that what you need is people that will speak positively to you people that would encourage you people that would that would war with you people that would stand strong with you in prayers people that would believe god with you that this situation i'm in is not going to be the end of me this situation i'm in i'm going to overcome it you are going to come out unscattered those are the kind of people you need around you so make sure you surround yourself with lots of positive people and if there is anyone that wants to bring any form of negativity around you just stay clear from that person you don't even bother talking to such people i'm sure you know your friends you know the kind of friends you have you know the friends you have that are very optimistic in life and no matter how bad the situation a situation is they they are always optimistic they will always see the good in such situations so try and surround yourself with such people when you're facing difficulty and challenges and another one is you have to believe that you will overcome that challenge you have to believe that no matter what that challenge is you will overcome it you have to stay strong in faith you have to believe you have to keep talking to you. You have to affirm, fill up your mind with words of affirmation on your own. You see this situation, this situation is not going to be the end of me. I am going to overcome this situation by the special blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is helping me and God is going to help me. God is going to raise helpers that would help me out of this situation. I am working out on scattered. I am working in power and authority. I can see light at the end of the tunnel. Something good is about about to happen this situation is only temporal affirm 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 fill up your mind start your everyday with positive affirmations believe that you're going to come out from that situation and trust me whatever you believe in will work for you do not let your problems swallow you do not let difficulties swallow you do not let your present situation and circumstances swallow you do not allow any problem in life swallow you there is always joy in the morning tough times don't last that's one thing i want you to understand tough times do not last no matter what it is you are going to overcome it by the mercies and grace of our lord jesus christ do not hesitate to ask for help do not hesitate to accept help when it's being offered i know that so many people so many people do not know how to ask for help but please my dear a closed mouth is a closed destiny you do not know if god is just waiting for you to ask and you shall receive and i'm not even talking about asking god now i'm talking about if you have trusted friends if you have families if you have loved ones that you can reach out for help do not hesitate to ask for help when you are in some certain situations when you are in a very challenging situation please ask for help if you can and do not hesitate to accept help when it's being offered okay another point is develop an attitude of gratitude see you know when you are in a very challenging situation that is when it's very difficult for you to stay grateful it's very difficult for you to be thankful because you are facing something that you feel that is too much for you to bear have an attitude of gratitude daily write that it can be in your journal you can put it on your social media write down something you are grateful for every day and at the end of the week or at the end of the month or when that situation or when that problem has passed you will be amazed at the number of things you are grateful for so i would want you to just have an attitude of gratitude when you're in such situations and it's going to help elevate your spirit and then another point is to stay active don't start staying indoors don't start sulking don't disengage from the activities that you would ordinarily and naturally do stay active go about your daily affairs carry on as if nothing is happening and trust me before you know it you would navigate that period the last point i want to talk about when you're 
in the face of adversity or when you are facing any difficult challenge is let adversity be your teacher for every situation we find ourselves in there is something to learn from that situation there is something God wants us to learn from that situation it could be patient maybe God is teaching you patience maybe the universe wants you to be a bit more tolerant maybe the universe wants you to if you're facing a financial um, difficulty maybe it's time for you to search deep it's time for you to search deep and think of ways or, or, or and think of things you can start doing to earn more yes because trust me nothing comes out from comfort zone is when you are in that uncomfort uncomfort zone or discomfort zone that is when the hunger for things sprouts that is when ideas are better that is when a lot of things begin to happen so in the face of adversity there is always something for us to learn there is something that adversity is teaching us it can be resilience it can be perseverance it can bet new dreams it can bet new ideas just learn even while you're in that difficult situation always be attentive always pay attention to your inner mind and learn and find out what god wants you to actually learn from this situation so guys this is what was ministered and was laid in my heart to talk about and i want to believe that someone out there would watch this video and will not give up someone out there would watch this video and will feel encouraged and motivated i'm not a motivational speaker i just wanted to encourage someone that is going through any form of hardship to hold on to stay strong in faith and then also i forgot to mention about praying as, a, as Christians, when you are going through difficulty, it's also good to pray. When you pray and commune with your maker, you will feel better. The load will feel lighter. So always pray. Pray as much as you can. Because even the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. So pray as much as you can. Listen to gospel songs and do things to elevate your spirit. You can do any fun activity that you like doing when you're bored. Do something that will make you happy. You can watch comedy shows. You can watch a movie. Anything at all that would help take your mind off that situation you are in please indulge in it and do not stop your life for anything go about your daily activities do everything that you would usually do because trust me hard times do not last but whatever that doesn't kill us will only make us stronger so guys this brings me to the end of this topic did you enjoy it do you have something you want to share please drop them right in the comment section i would love to read from you Thank you guys so much for watching as usual now please give this video a massive thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't please guys subscribe to my channel help my channel to grow and share this video please share it on your community tabs share it on your whatsapp status you do not know who this video will be ministering to so thank you once more for watching till i see you next time bye bye